Have you heard that Ariana Grande is getting a divorce from her husband of two years, Dalton Gomez? The news is all over the internet right now, and many fans have been claiming that there were breakup signs all along. So in this video, we've compiled a list of their top 10 biggest relationship red flags. At number 10, we have no wedding ring. Fans were shocked when it was reported that Ariana and Dalton were divorcing, though some people did claim that they knew it was coming, given the fact that Ariana was seen at a recent tennis match without her diamond wedding ring. She was photographed in the crowd at the Wimbledon men's singles final on Sunday, sitting between Andrew Garfield and Jonathan Bailey. While she was reacting to moments from the match, she would often cover her mouth with her hand, and in that way, it was pretty obvious that she wasn't wearing her ring. It's possible that she had taken it off to get cleaned, but for such a high profile event like this, that was less likely. So even though it was only rumors at that point, in this case, the absence of the wedding ring was really significant. Ariana and Dalton got engaged back in December of 2020, and she announced the happy news with an Instagram post showcasing her new rock with a super unique design. It was made up of a large oval diamond with a delicate pearl, and it looked very similar to another pearl ring that she was gifted by her grandma. So there might have been an added sentimental value there. As for the price, well, it was estimated to be worth a whopping $350,000. Number 9. Living Separate Lives Sources close to Ariana who know about the breakup said that the two of them have been separate since January. They began living separate lives until about May, when they decided to take a shot at their relationship again. But sadly, that only lasted two weeks before they both threw in the towel. Apparently, Dalton visited Ariana on the set of the movie Wicked in London, which was a part of a last ditch attempt to save their marriage. But sadly, that didn't work out. It's also been reported that he has moved on from their marriage relatively quickly and has been dating over the past few months, which Ariana is completely fine with. In fact, they've been separated for so long that both of them were apparently shocked that no one picked up on it till today. Then TMZ broke the story that they had gone their separate ways and were headed for divorce. Thankfully, they've been able to stay friends, so there's no bad blood between them. Quote, they came to this decision together. They were having problems before January, but they wanted to remain best friends. It's been said that they've been really good friends throughout the entire process and their friends and families have been trying to protect them, most likely from going through all the messy divorce drama. Number 8. Long Distance After news came out about their separation, a source spoke to People magazine about the contributing factors behind their split, and one of the biggest ones seems to be long distance. As for now, Ariana has been away from home filming the Wicked adaptation in the UK, which means that she's been away for most of the year. And in this specific situation, it's been said that absence did not make the heart grow fonder. The source claimed that she was happy in LA for a couple of years, and she really wanted to make a life there with Dalton. This worked out well for a while, considering that he was super focused on his career as a luxury real estate agent. And for that, he needed to live in LA. But the demands of his career eventually became an issue for them, because he was practically stuck in the city. While Ariana's work took her all over the world, and for months at a time. Apparently when she started filming Wicked in England, they were in for a long distance marriage, though it eventually got too hard and the relationship broke down. With all things considered, this is completely understandable, because it can be difficult to maintain a connection with someone that you can't be physically present with. Number 7. Can't Handle the Fame It's been said that another contributing factor in their separation was the differences between them. According to reports, Ariana and Dalton couldn't make their marriage work after the pandemic because their lives were vastly different, and that only became more obvious over time. Sources said that when they first hooked up in 2020, they were everything to each other, company, romance, and support. But when the lockdown restrictions were lifted, their differences became alarmingly apparent. Dalton was taken aback by Ariana's celebrity status. He could not comprehend her busy schedule, the intrusive paparazzi, and the various opportunities that took her out of LA. It's been said that he would sometimes question why they needed to go around town with security, which was clearly the only option for someone as famous as Ariana. In the end, it was their differences in lifestyle that started to make the marriage unravel, and it was greatly exacerbated when she went to England last December to start filming Wicked. Unfortunately, this is a story that's all too familiar. Another high-profile relationship recently ended for a similar reason. This one was between Taylor Swift and Joe Alwyn. It was said that he didn't like the limelight, and that he struggled with her level of fame and the attention that she got from the public. So sometimes it can be too overwhelming for the partner that is not used to that kind of stardom. Number 6. Dalton Deactivating Instagram Back in March, rumors started swirling about the status of their marriage when Dalton deactivated his Instagram account. This happened after he received a flood of hate comments questioning his sexuality. For whatever reason, some fans decided to target him and claim that he was in fact gay. We don't know what these comments look like, but obviously they weren't made in a nice way. Most likely, it was both homophobic and intended to bully him. So it's possible that he was just sick of getting those comments and wanted to get off of social media for a while. This was all pretty upset 
setting given the fact that the couple have really tried to keep a low profile since they got married. Dalton does have his own Instagram account, but he said it's a private shortly after news of their relationship became public. His comments might have been the reason he deactivated his account, but apparently he didn't use Instagram regularly, so it could also mean that he just wanted to delete it for good. Unfortunately, we all know that social media is a cruel place, and in that way, it couldn't have been easy for him to deal with negative attention online. When you are a public figure, you obviously get a lot more than a regular person, but someone who isn't used to that might have had their mental health impacted a bit more. Number five, breakup rumors. Over a year ago, Ariana posted a video doing her makeup while promoting her brand, REM Beauty. But it wasn't the makeup that caught everyone's attention, it was the fact that she wasn't wearing her wedding ring. If she didn't address it, fans would most likely jump to conclusions and assume that something was going on. Thankfully, she did because she already knew what the internet would say when they didn't spot her ring. She said, I'm just not wearing my ring, it's getting cleaned. I'm not getting a divorce, so before you start, don't. So she pretty much made it very clear that she was shutting that idea down. Obviously, she has been in the spotlight long enough to know that even the smallest thing can cause a panic online. Though it is telling that she felt the need to even address the speculation. Because there is always a lot of misogyny going around at times like this, where people are quick to blame women anytime a relationship ends. In response to the divorce news, someone tweeted, Ariana Grande lost 100k followers on IG following yesterday's rumors. Once again, we have proof that our world is misogynistic and that we always blame women. In, which is a very sad reflection of where we are as a society. At number four, not a good fit. For the stability of a long-term relationship, it's been said that you need two things, chemistry and compatibility. And the latter is always more important in long term. Sadly, it seems like that just wasn't the case for Ariana and Dalton, which is not necessarily anyone's fault. An inside source spoke to Entertainment Tonight and explained that they just weren't a good fit from the start. Quote, Ariana and Dalton tried to make things work, but ultimately they just weren't a good fit. Dalton has been very private and low-key about their relationship with his work colleagues and hasn't been talking a lot about their split. Another insider said, Ariana and Dalton's friends have always been concerned by their whirlwind romance and felt their relationship would ultimately be short-lived. Their relationship has been rocky at different points and they've had trouble making time for each other with scheduling issues. Before Dalton, Ariana also famously dated and got engaged to SNL's Pete Davidson, which lasted just a few months. But in many ways, they suited each other very well because they were both so used to the limelight. Their relationship was very public and it was one of the most talked about of the year. Year. Of course, that doesn't make it any better than a private one, but it goes to show you that they were very comfortable being seen out together. Number three, controversies. Though they've managed to keep a relatively low profile since they got together, there was a moment in 2021 which earned Ariana and Dalton a ton of backlash. In June that year, a video of them resurfaced online, which was then shared by various Twitter accounts. A black and white clip showed the two of them with a few of their friends, and they appeared to be participating in a mockery of Native American dance. While sitting at the center of a circle, Ariana was seen to be singing, laughing, and spinning a big piece of cloth around in the air. Other people in the video were said to be making drumming sounds. They also appeared to be attempting to summon a spirit. So it's no surprise that this was deemed offensive because it seems as though they were making fun of the culture. Soon after it was posted, Ariana deleted the video because she started receiving many negative comments about it. It's possible that fans interpreted this to be something different than what it actually was, but it's also easy to see why it was so upsetting. This incident was part of the reason why why some people started to turn against them, which is why Dalton was not particularly popular with fans. Number two, Pete Davidson's comments. Ariana's ex seemingly put her on blast months after their relationship ended, which some fans took as an outright personal attack. The two of them publicly revealed that they were in a relationship at the end of May of 2018. Things then moved very quickly, and they ended up getting engaged just a few weeks after their relationship started. The whole thing became something of an internet meme, and it really cemented Pete's image as a ladies' man. Several tweets that Ariana made about him created the infamous phrase Big D Energy, which Pete quickly became the face of. But just as swiftly as things started, they rapidly came to an end. Shockingly, the pop star went on to describe their romance as an amazing distraction when speaking to Vogue magazine. In response, Pete slammed her on stage during a stand-up performance when he said, can you imagine if I did that? My career would be over tomorrow if I spray painted myself brown and hopped on the cover of Vogue magazine and just started hating on my ex. Can you imagine? So 
obviously he took those comments somewhat to heart. And coming in at number one at the fan reaction, news of Ariana's divorce has been getting quite a lot of attention recently, which is pretty much as expected. But what's really interesting is how people feel about Dalton now, because he's the one that seems to be getting most of the criticism. One person tweeted, the Dalton boy dated, proposed and married Ariana Grande, knowing very well she's Ariana Grande, then gets shocked when she's followed by security everywhere? Has he seen how her fans behave? Boy, you should have dated Normani if you wanted a normal private life. In response, another person wrote, the same problem was at first with Miley and Liam. Girls are just too big to date someone that basic. Another fan tweeted, what is it with these Z-listers getting into relationships with A-listers and then hating on how famous they are? Like, did you not know how famous she was before? There were even people that blamed Dalton for stealing Ariana Grande away from her fans. They also said that these differences in their lifestyles were bound to come out when someone famous marries someone who isn't, while others expressed how pathetic it is that there are insecure, unsupportive men getting into relationships with incredible women just to bring them down. So what do you think about everything on this list? Please let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you all in the next video.